This video is sponsored by Notion. my channel today's video is going to be a study vlog so i'm basically going to be spending my weekend just working on my finals because yeah they're around the corner and i've got quite a lot of stuff to do it's the final push we'll make it through but i just need to put my mind to it this weekend if you're new to my channel welcome um, i wanted to just mention that i am a cinema communications student so my finals don't really include exams i have one exam in french but that's like not part of my program courses other than that it's really just final essays and presentations that's really the main thing that i'm going to be working on this weekend those essays and presentations but i also have a couple of other assignments and projects that are on my to-do list so yeah, speaking of which, I thought it'd be great to start off by making a to-do list and sort of planning things out beforehand. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to Notion for sponsoring this part of the video. If you're not familiar with Notion, it's basically a tool that you can use to take notes, to manage tasks and set goals. You can also use it on your own or in teams. Personally, I find that it has helped me stay organized and productive as a student, but also as a content creator. I use it all of the time. It's pretty much like part of my daily routine to check my Notion. Um, and I wanted to walk you guys a little bit through what my Notion looks like specifically. And more precisely, I wanted to develop on how I use it to manage my studies. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is what my Notion looks like. Um, as you can see, it's beautiful, <laughs> or at least I like to think it is. Um, I've got my homepage separated into different categories. So I've got general, um, socials, and school. And so we're really gonna be focusing more on school today, but let me know if you wanna see a full Notion tour, because I would love to do that. Let's first check out my college page. So as you can see, I've kind of separated this page for each of my classes, and I like to keep a small to-do list of any upcoming assignments or homework that has been assigned. Um, so I've got one section for each class and also a little other to-do list. So for example, I'm involved in like a club. I also um, am involved in like different sort of events or things happening at school. So I like to keep those to-dos on here as well. And then I go on to develop them um, further a little down the page. But yeah, also what I really like about Notion is that it's really customizable. You can adjust like, for example, the font. Um, you can make the text smaller, bigger. You can also adjust the width. And there are really so many ways that you can customize your Notion and really make it fit your aesthetic, which I appreciate. Because um, I think it's really nice that you, to have a functioning like organization system that's also cute. It's just, it, it's more motivating, let's be honest. And then down here, I've got my assignments, and this is basically a list of all <laughs> my assignments. I separate them into a name, then the date that they're due, whether or not it's completed, 
the type so if it's a homework essay presentation exam and so on and then the course um and yeah we got this little rainbow which i think is cute <laughs> and then usually when it's done i'll add my mark so i don't know i just like being able to refer to this and also for example um in some of my classes when a teacher is talking about essay guidelines or like what's coming up on the exam you can create a page so for example here we have my examen final in french and the teacher basically told us what was going to be on the exam so i wrote down some notes here and i have it all um in one place and then down here we've just got um a database where i put in a bunch of lists because i don't know what it is about lists i just love making them and i accumulate them like crazy so for example i thought we could make one for this weekend i'll call this study schedule weekend sure i have finished my to-do list i'm just adding a little emoji definitely very ambitious but i think i can do it or at least i hope i can that is pretty much how i use notion uh, for school and to stay productive and on top of my assignments if you want to sign up feel free to check out the link in my description and create an account that being said i am now going to head over to the library and start working on this to-do list so yeah let's get to it <laughs> was really productive i find i mean i did the research for one of my essays pretty much finished that and started a draft but then i kind of got bored halfway through the draft and started researching for one of my presentations honestly sometimes like my brain is just not in essay writing mode and so i need to switch to something else i basically just printed all of these essays and then i like to highlight and annotate them I know this isn't very eco-friendly, but I cannot help wanting to highlight and annotate paper. I just feel like doing it on a computer, it's not the same. And right now I have a Zoom call with a teammate for which I'm partnering with on a presentation. And yeah, I'll see you guys after. Wish me luck. <laughs>
Hello everyone, it is Sunday, aka day two of this finals prep. To be honest, the stress is starting to settle in, even though I still got plenty of time, like, I don't know, I'm just <laughs> a little worried. Um, I know I'm gonna get everything done in time, I just can't help but be anxious. That's my default, so we're gonna try to cope with that. I'm gonna try to go for a walk later today because it's quite nice out and I just don't want to spend the whole weekend inside. Um, other than that, on the schedule today, because it is Sunday, I still have like my typical Sunday reset routine that I'm gonna try to follow. It just includes like tidying up my space and prepping for the week so that way I don't feel overwhelmed. For now, I just need to take out my computer and all my other supplies that I need to get work done because the to-do list is not going to accomplish itself on its own, unfortunately. <laughs> a little I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling a little tired um, this always happens in the afternoon for some reason time just seems to fly by and it takes me like twice as long to get a single task done but we're moving along I'm continuing doing research and yeah I don't know how many hours it's been but it's gonna be a couple more <laughs> because I do have school tomorrow. But yeah, I feel like this was a pretty productive weekend. Obviously I didn't do everything, but a girl can only do so much. And now I'm just gonna 
hang out in bed and like watch YouTube or Netflix a little. Once again, make sure to check out Notion by clicking the link in my description. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!